Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Guys, suitcase, travel, airplane, sunshine, bike ride. No dogs, unfortunately. But yeah, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to a brand new day and welcome back to another travel day. I'm not gonna get into it just yet, where I'm going, what I'm doing, who I'm going with, what, what's, what's happening. Stay tuned for that. I'm not traveling until later on this afternoon. But I am repping the Cycling Hub brand today. Shout out to my boys. <laughs> oh no. It's gonna pop. It's gonna pop. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, Lexi. I will see you in two or three days. I'll see you in three days. All right, got my coffee. The car is packed in my suitcase. Time to head to the airport. <laughs> Today we're flying from Liverpool Airport. I love flying from Liverpool Airport. It's so much smaller than flying from Manchester. It's just so much easier, never as busy. And you can just turn up so close to your flight. I mean, it's only an hour until I fly. And I am not stressed at all. You know you're at Liverpool Airport when you see that. From the outside to the gate in 10 minutes. Ideal. Okay, so we're back at the airport. Unfortunately, this time I'm without Monica. I'm heading back to Spain, but this time it's a little bit more north. I'm heading into Barcelona because I'm gonna be spending the next few days in Girona. Girona really is a cycling hub. A lot of you guys will have heard of it. A ridiculous amount of World Tour pros live there on a base there throughout the season. It really is the European mecca of cycling. And random fact for you, my very first video, the very first video that I uploaded onto this channel was from Girona. I reckon about four of you have seen that, so I'm gonna stitch it in right now. Guys, I know it was bad. Cut me some slack, please. But I'm heading to Girona to meet Leon, who owns a company called Rubik. And this trip is being made possible because of uh, Leon and his company. I'm going to let him explain a little bit more when we arrive there, what his company is about and what they do. But essentially, it's a, a bike tour company that hosts training camps. And it really is just a base and a network for all things cycling in Girona. But right now, I'm waiting for my flight. Got about 30 more minutes until we depart. Okay guys, so I've made it into Girona. Uh, I don't want to talk too loudly actually because there's people downstairs, but I've made it to my apartment and it's behind this door. This is potentially one of the coolest apartments I think I've ever stayed in. So first off, we've got the bike. I'll talk more in detail about that later on. And guys, I'll give you a full cinematic room tour in the morning, but this is, this is the pad for the next few days. We've even got a Christmas tree down there in the corner. And the location is absolutely incredible. So down there is, we are right in the center of the old town right here. Down there is the Federal Cafe, which is owned by Rory Sutherland. And right there in the distance, that's the top of the cathedral. So in terms of a central location, I don't think I could have got any closer. So the apartment is fully kitted out. We've got energy bars. We've got car powder for our bottles. We've got recovery powder. Guys, this is like a proper training camp base. It's all set up, it's all kitted out. I've got a letter here, it says we're happy 
that you finally decided to come and train with us at Robic Girona. It's no coincidence that a lot of professional cyclists call Girona their home. The weather is usually great, the roads are good, and you can ride on flatter hilly paths or even choose to go into the mountains. The choice is yours. After your training, you don't need to worry about feeling bored. There's so much to do in Girona and its surroundings. In this guide, you'll find information you need to, to make this training camp not only highly successful, but also a lot of fun. Take your time, read the information, and enjoy your stay in Girona. And uh, guys, we've basically just got like a whole host of different things and information, different places to visit whilst in whilst in Girona. It comes ready with food. We got some fruit and muesli, some bread, some jam, even some chocolate spread, which I have already opened. And it's got a coffee machine. Every great apartment needs a great coffee machine. I just love this architecture, especially how like this wall is pretty is exposed. It's just like. Yeah. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna fast forward in time until like to tomorrow when it's gonna be daylight and bright. Um, so yeah, here's a room tour. The bike that we have got, guys, the bike that we have got for training here. Oh, The bike that Robic have sorted us out with whilst in Girona is pretty sweet. So before I arrived, I had to fill out a form on, on the website, uh, take all of my bike measurements, like not just the frame size, not just like, a lot of time you go to bike hire companies, you just give them a generic frame size, 56, 58, whatever the case may be. But with Robic, I had to give my, my saddle height, my saddle to bar distance, my bar to drop distance. There was three or four different measurements that I had to fill in. Uh, then the bike was set up to my required measurements and also my pedal type. And it just means that when I come here, I know that I get on this bike and it feels exactly the same as my bike at home. I gave the same measurements that my Colnago C60 was, my race bike, and I've, and I've just sat on that. And as far as I'm aware, it feels pretty much the same. So the bike is a Basso Venta with some 35 mil carbon wheels. It's a full carbon setup uh, with, with Shimano Ultegra. And the cool thing about this bike is it comes with a four III power meter. The fact that I'm gonna be able to train uh, and ride to power. So these next few days, it's gonna be more of like a mini training camp rather than a cycling holiday. So it's gonna be pretty cool to be able to and to know that I've got power and to know that I can train to power yeah it's just gonna make these next few days uh, so much more effective than if I if I just didn't have a power meter it just makes training a whole lot easier I just waffled on for way too long there it's like half past ten the lighting is awful so if you've made it this far I'm sorry and thank you I'm gonna get to bed now it's been a long day of travel but guys thank you for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed if you did if you're looking forward to these next few days just as much as I am drop us smash a thumbs up in this video and with that being said i will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m just watch me breaking your